In this lecture, I'm going to discuss the technical role. The technical role is known by various names. Sometimes it's called implementation architect, implementation manager, solution architect, solution manager, or something to do with technical implementation of analytics tools. It could even be called technical analytics manager. It depends on the organization, but you have to keep in mind it's a technical role, which means you are playing with the databases, SQL, you know, writing scripts to fill, pull the data, bring the data together, JavaScript, which is the main way to collect the data on the web, and HTML. And you might also need some of the other programming languages, depending on if you are dealing with mobile apps or some native apps that you're building. You will need to be certified in implementing one or more tools, such as Adobe Analytics and Google Analytics for the web analytics part, but there could be other tools for mobile analytics, for social media, email, etc. Generally, when a company hires you, if they are looking for a junior level position, they don't expect you to have any experience with these tools. They will actually send you for the training. That's what I did for most of my analysts. When I hire them, I look for whether they are technical, they have the technical aptitude, and then tools and etc. training can be given to them uh, by the tool vendors because every company uses a different tool. So even if you are certified in Google Analytics, but a company is using Adobe, then you need to learn Adobe. However, the fundamentals are still the same. These guys also architect the solution to support business need. What that means is to configure the backend, configure the JavaScript, configure the HTML pages in a way so that the data can be collected. Once the data is collected, configure the databases and SQL scripts so that it can be pulled by the analyst, by the reporting analyst. Here is a tool landscape. A very simple view and I have a complex view that I'll show you. There are so many tools out there today uh, dealing with marketing analytics, digital analytics and this gives you this layout right here gives you a good idea. You can look at online web analytics tool landscape here. It's This is an old slide but still you get the point there are several of those. Social media analytics tool, you got the email analytics tools, digital ads analytics and so on. And then you got the data side of things. So you can look at all this landscape and you know that there are so many tools to learn. There are so many tools and technologies to manage. If you have the technical aptitude and that's what you want to do, great. There is a huge demand for these kind of skills. If you specialize in a particular tool, particularly a growing tool or particularly a tool that has a big market share, you are set for a long time for a good employment because you will be an expert in that tool and there is a demand. Any company that uses that tool needs the expert who can make sense of that tool, who can configure that tool properly. Moving along, this is a very complex slide from MarTech Advisors, but this gives you a landscape of all the tools that are out there. And this landscape is growing. But once you understand the fundamentals, it's learning the tools. Here is an example of a JavaScript. You start simple. This is a Google Analytics, which is a web analytics tool. It does social media analytics as well as email analytics and display advertising built within the tool. Tool is growing. So if there is one tool that you should actually focus on to learn, focus on Google Analytics. It's free. Plus, it has the whole ecosystem. But this gives you an idea right here is your JavaScript that you put on a page. And you can also use PHP implementation or Google Tag Manager. Now, Google Tag Manager is another, um, or Tag Managers are another set of tools that allow easy management of tags. You will likely learn one of the Tag Managers to manage all these tags. When we say tag, it's a JavaScript code that sits on a page. It's called tag. That's what collects the data as the user comes on the site. There is a very complex JavaScript as you grow. You might deal with a very complex JavaScript and that gives you an idea of how the data manipulation happens even before it's sent to the back end for collection. In this role, you will also be using databases and uh, writing SQL queries. 
It'll be architecting the databases to make sure the data is collected and put it in the right places. You will be uh, you will be making sure the right data is collected and bringing all the data together. The first party data, the data that you collect, third party data that's collected by some other companies. You want to bring them together to form a complete picture. You'll need to write SQL scripts to make sure you can port the data out and you'll have basic database skills. Valid and complete data is the lifeblood of any analytics. If the data is garbage, your analytics, your analysis, your insights will all be garbage. So it's a very critical role that ensures proper data is collected, it's cleaned, it's stored properly, it's manipulated. Manipulated means bringing in with other data sources, writing the right type of scripts, uh, SQL queries, and to make sure it, 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 it is cleaned up in a way and then converted into a format that can be used. And then combining the data with other data sources and helping the reporting and the analysis guys to use the right data. As you can see, this is a very critical role because without having the technical role that ensures the data quality, all the analysis will be wrong. The success of the program lies heavily on the shoulders of this technical role. To recap, technical role is also called implementation or solution architect or a manager role. It's a very technical role. That means you need to know, understand the technologies, databases and SQL, JavaScript and HTML, and you will be certified in one of the or multiple tools. And you are architecting the solution to support the business needs. If you think you are technical, or if you want to learn the underlying technology of how the data is collected before you get into the analysis role, I highly recommend this type of role.